my school, by way of example, I, I, I went to an all girls school and it was segregated. So it was all white children as well as um, Asian children, uh, girls, I guess. Uh, when I started college, I was one of the first years where we actually had uh, full open enrollment. And so that that was kind of cool. You know, I ran a little underground newspaper on, you know, and would write these plays that got banned everywhere. And, and it was a fun time, you know, I and, and certainly people always ask me, where does this passion for your activism come from? And I'm like, I think it's just the environment I, I was raised in. And then I would say, you know, it was, a police state. Um, it didn't seem that bad for white people, and obviously wasn't ha you know even like one tenth as bad. But you know there was population control in terms of having to show your papers to move from you know one area to another. Um, most of my interactions, frankly, were with um, with staff or with you know uh, your gardener and your homekeeper and that kind of stuff is really the reality of it. Um, but one of the things people always lose sight of, and I think this is a problem in America now too, is, you know, people want to work. And if someone wants to work, we should provide those opportunities. And I think we look at a lot of those relationships through a exploitative lens. But I'll tell you, anyone who's who's struggling or in a country with a high unemployment rate, people are genuinely glad to have a job. You're not exploiting them, you're actually helping them. Um, so that was sort of the base of it. And then we just had crazy, I mean, it was, it was a mess there towards the end. I mean, there were various um, unauthorized border wars that were going on between South Africa and Angola, between South Africa and Southwest Africa. There were all these uh, communist parties that were surrounding America that were being funded, you know, by by the Russians at the time, because that's sort of that simulation, right? And um, and so it was just a very strange country, I guess, to grow up in.